Hello, eventiers. How are we doing today? It is the weekend. This is Rob with Ship Our Wedding. Coming at you live, we have an event that we're setting up at this venue. So as you can tell, it's a big open space. They have a lot of the decor elements already set up, but there's one thing that's missing, and that's going to be a beautiful backdrop set up right here behind the sweetheart table. So what are we doing today? We're going to transform the space by doing a double valance backdrop. We're going to show you how it's done. This DIY draping kit is beautiful, simple, and very affordable, which is also important. So it sets up in minutes. We ship you everything you need two days before your event, and you have to send it back two days afterwards. If you want more information on how to get this rental for your upcoming celebration, click that link below this video. So let's get to this and show you how to set up a double backdrop backdrop at your upcoming event. The first step is to take your base plates, assemble them, it means you're going to screw the ferrule into the base plate. This is how you do that. Afterwards, take your uprights and slide them onto your base plates. If it is a tight fit, only force onto the ferrule 50%, not all the way down. You want to do this for all of your base plates. Take our crossbars, we're going to put them down. We actually probably should have done this step first. What's really important when you're setting up your crossbar is you want to make sure the space is symmetrical. That means that this crossbar in the back is centered on this backdrop, so it gives a nice look going all the way across. So now we're going to take our crossbars, we're going to put these into our uprights. We're going to go all the way down. This is called building your skeleton when you connect the frame together. And once again, you want to take a couple steps back, look at it, and just make sure it is symmetrical. This is what you'll see in your photos because this will be the backdrop during your formalities. We're a little concerned right now about this TV because this might come back in and hit it. You can see on this wall. So what we're going to do is something very simple. We need to just kind of create like a spacer. So if it does bump into this, you'll have a sharp metal object right here that'll crack the screen. I'm going to take some tape. I'm just going to make a real quick tape ball like this. Take it and just work it into the top right here. Go around. And that'll kind of act as a buffer on the back of this. And we'll do this for every connecting piece that looks like it might touch a TV. Now we're gonna take the fabric, we're gonna throw it over even amounts of drapery on both sides. We're throwing a total of three pieces of fabric on each crossbar. This is what you need for a double valance drapery. You will have the four pieces that will be used for the front, but we just use three for the back that gives you that nice full look. So now all of our fabric is thrown over. We're now going to hang valance hangers. This is a valance hanger. Really simple. This is what you'll use to have the double backdrop to create the second layer. We're gonna take this, insert it right here into the top slot, and you'll do this for every upright that you have. This way we can go ahead and put the crossbars into this. So now you're going to take your crossbars and put them into the slot for the hangers, just like this. Sometimes it can be a little tight, these will still fit into the slots. So you have one in the front and one in the back. That's what you do when two crossbars are connecting together. Connect all of your crossbars into your valance hangers. All right, so we have a drapery up here. We need to get that full look by pleating it. So what you do is you find the edge of this. So reaching under once you get the edge, you're going to take this, go over your hardware, you want to hide all that magic. Come across, get the other edge. Kind of hit the fabric like you like a cat pawing at something. Easiest way to describe it. We're going to do this for all the draping on the backdrop, going all the way down. Then take all of your fabric, you're going to throw it over the front crossbar only. Where do you have fabric on the back half? Because it's the front half of your double valance backdrop. You want to make sure you put one, two, three, four pieces of fabric on each 10 foot crossbar. Next step is to go ahead and pleat the front valance. So, same thing for the front valance, you just want to go ahead and pleat it just like we did before. Once again, you want to cover any hardware. What's a little different about the front balance is you need to make sure, because it's getting pulled back, that the two little panels that meet are directly centered on this. So after you get done pleating it, you want to take a quick look and just make sure that those two panels are centered. So now that we're here, we have two panels, I'm looking at it, overlap it, and we can come back in and go ahead and fill in all the gaps with the pleats, just like this. So we have our two pieces of fabric overlapped right here, as you can see. We're going to take this zip tie, just go over it, the front valance only. We want to make sure these two pieces do not come apart. It's going to take, cut off the excess like this, take it and roll it to the back or the front. You're going to do this for all overlapping fabric on the center of your crossbar. Take our uprights to the collar here. All you need to do is put your hand on this part and then raise this part with your other hand. This way this stays in place, it doesn't come off your base plate. We're going to raise it up, like you see here. Because the ceiling's very low, it's going to be pretty straightforward to make sure they're all to the same even height. So this could even just be a one-person job, just raising these uprights, put a little bit of weight on them, because all the fabric's coming down now. Going down like this, raising your uprights. So then you can take this one up right here. Did you need those top? Um, a slight. That's good. About this one. That's good, right there. 
you can see with the help of somebody telling you what to take off and down, it's, it's much easier. I'm going to take this fabric and pull it back. I'm just grabbing this front, not the back piece. I'm going to take it, I'm going to pull it off to the side because we're going to be working with it here in a minute. I'm going to take this other piece that you see right here and do the same with it. Take it and pull off to the side because two pieces will go to the left and then two pieces will go to the right. Grab them. You want to work them towards the middle. If you have a chair, you can take that chair. Keep the fabric separated so you know what you're going to do with it later. I'm pulling this away from the back because the back needs to get finalized first and then we'll finalize the front. You want to pull this because then the backdrop might become unstable. Just want to give it a nice little kind of pull. Now let's go ahead and finalize the back draping. It's really important when you're finalizing this back drapery because after the step where the front balance is pulled back, your backdrop's done. It's really how easy it is to set it up yourself. Also, if you haven't done so yet, like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell if you want to stay up to date on more DIY video tutorials. I'm going to finish this step and then we'll go ahead and pull the fabric back. I really want to start with one of these larger pieces first. See where it's at, how it looks. Because this larger one will take two zip ties, put them together like this. We're going to wrap all the way around it. It's called swagging back your fabric. Also, too, if possible, feel free to take your shoes off so you don't step on the fabric and leave footprints on it because you don't want it to be visible in your photos. Trying to create that really nice look. Whenever I'm doing draping, I like to keep it very low. This way it looks more dramatic. I'm going to start right here, go all the way around. Then I just want to connect it so I can let go of it. Maybe start pulling it, look at it, we can adjust this. If there's a little gap here, to take this, pull it out a little bit, it will fill that gap. Tighten this, this way it doesn't come undone. The bottom, just give it a nice little tuck like this. Do this for all drapes for your front valance. And this is the finished look of the double valance backdrop with our signature bishop columns set up too. If you want more information on how you can get this look with the bishop columns, feel free to click the video in the top right corner. It'll give you more information about our bishop columns. They look really nice near the dance floor or also when you have them by your head table like this. So we love this backdrop. You can get this look too. Plan your wedding under budget and get what you deserve by doing it yourself. Get this look by clicking the link in the video description. We'd love to find out how we can help you at your upcoming celebration. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.